Hello, air sign. This is um, the weekend love reading for air signs. All air signs around the globe, around the world. Okay, so let's get into it. I've already pre shuffled all that good stuff, all that good, 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 yum, yum, yum. So let's go before the time run out. So I did this to kill time. <clears throat> you and your partner. So Libras, your partner has the Ace of Fire for the desire. Um, for the obstacle, <coughs> excuse me, I had to drink something. For the obstacle, they have the Queen of Water, which is a Scorpio Pisces Cancer, and also the Ten of Water. Hmm, interesting. And for your partner's outcome, they have... The night of water. Okay. For you guys, Libra, let me fix this so everything be aligned. Your desire is the nine of water, which is the nine of cups. The obstacle for you guys, Libras, is the ten of wands, the ten of fire. And the outcome for you guys is the justice system. So some of you guys might be seeking justice when it comes to your partnership. Um, and also this is you guys as well representing. representing. You guys might be going through um, the justice system. Um, so I don't know what's going on here. Could be something becomes so overwhelming that um, you want justice in this. Okay, so your partner's desire is to start over, to, to to offer you a creative new endeavor, you know, to offer you that passion or their phallic, you know, it could be either or. Also here, um, if you guys are single, then I would say you are, there's somebody new coming in to offer you um, passion here, so that's if... <laughs> <laughs> could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Someone here who's willing to take action to make this offer right now during this weekend. Um, the obstacle your partner have is the Queen of Water and also the Ten of Water. So, dying itself is telling me that maybe a water sign is blocking this connection with you and your partner. Um... Maybe you're dealing with a water sign who's already in a partnership, in a relationship here. Because um, I do see that as well. Uh, maybe you're dealing with someone from your past. Okay? And your partner's outcome, you know, is the Knight of Water, which is the <laughs> Knight of Cups. So... I feel like you, you guys are dealing with water sign for sure. Okay, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. All right, because the energy is showing up, okay? <laughs> um, so this person is coming to offer you love. This person is falling in love with you or you are falling in love with this person. Um, there might even be a wedding proposal, marriage proposal here. Um, this person could invite you out. To go out for a social um, event, social gathering, um, Libras. So wh whoever your partner is could be inviting you out to go out with you. So some of you guys might be in already established relationship, and this person is coming in. It's like a temptation. Says we can love. It's like a temptation. Okay, this person is coming in to scoop you out to show you things that your partner has not been showing you. For a while now. So I, I, I get it, Libra. I get it. I totally get it. So for you guys, Libra, your desire is the Nine of Cups. So you guys wish for this water sign. That's your desire. You want to be with this water sign. Um, you wish for this person. Um, but you have a blockage here, which is an obstacle. You might already be in a situation that you feel like you're obligated to. Um, you might already be in a situation that's you feel like there's an obstacle there because there's a blockage. The blockage is an ending. Okay. Um, so maybe someone you're dealing with has not ended something with their partner. Could be. Okay, that's one option. 
Maybe the person you're dealing with um, is with someone because out of obligation. Okay, they feel like they, they're obligated. But now this thing is getting too um, overwhelming for you guys, Libra. Because you or your partner could be feeling this way. Because the obstacle is the Ten of Wands here. So maybe the obstacle is that you want to end things with someone here that you're with. But you haven't or you can't. Because this is becoming burdensome here. Um, someone's birthday could be coming up too. Um, also, um, I also see festivals. So some of you guys could be planning something, planning some type of event here. And this could be um, overwhelming for you. It might be too much. Maybe you didn't think this through. <laughs> but also I feel like um, there's going to be an ending with someone. Could be with a fire sign. Could be with a fire sign in order to start something with a water sign. So you guys might be cutting off with a fire sign and starting something with a water sign. Um, even though, so I also feel like some of you might have more than one person interested interested in you because I do see a water and fire. It's like the battle of the excess. <laughs> so let's see. Here. Let's get why is the obstacle the queen of water and the ten of water? Why? Maybe you feel like you, you're going to be content with this water sign. But, um, but you're already in a situation that you're obligated to be in. Okay, I see that for you guys, Libra. You're already in a situation. Yep, there's a third party. Definitely. So let's get a clarification for that. So for you guys, for you guys, all comments that you guys want justice in this matter. You guys want justice in this situation. So let me get a clarification for spirits. Why is the Queen of Cups and the Ten of Water and the obstacle for Libra's partner? Why? Hmm. Because <clears throat> someone has gone into hermit mode. Someone has isolated himself from the world. So maybe you isolated yourself from this queen or this, this water sign individual isolated himself from you. You could have been dealing with a Virgo that has water in their chart. Okay. Um, someone took a time off to go reflect. They needed time to go reflect if this is what they really want. Or they needed time to go reflect um, to gain some type of insight here. Why is the obstacle the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Cups? Spirit, give me a clarification card. One clarification. Thank you. Okay. So the obstacle, the reason why the obstacle is um, water sign, the Queen of Water. So maybe someone here is not really um, showing their emotions. Someone here might not be showing that. Um, or expressing their emotions towards you, Libra. Maybe that's why this is an obstacle. Emotionally, you want you want to be content. You want to be happy. You want commitment. So maybe this person is not giving you what you want. So now you're taking time off to yourself to go think about what you really want. To go gain insight concerning this person. And I feel like there's going to be communication coming in, Libras. With you and this person, whoever this person is, let me get a clarification on the Ten of Fire. There's going to be communication between you and this person, okay? This water sign individual. Um, there's going to be a communication coming in. After you gained your insight, you're going to communicate with this person, okay? Or the blockage could also mean that um, some of you here could be dealing with someone who's already in a committed relationship. So that's causing you to take time off to go get insight if you even want to go through with it. But I feel like you guys are going to communicate with this person, Libra. Hmm, interesting. All right, let's get clarification for the Ten of Fire here. So you guys have the Four of Swords here. You're definitely ending something with a fire sign in order to go meditate and gain insight. It's funny, these two is mirroring each other in a sense because... Um, this is you going, isolating yourself to go get an insight. And this is you meditating, <laughs> isolating yourself. So you're ending something with a fire sign because you feel like it's so overwhelming here. 
Because your wish is with a water sign. You wish for a water sign. Or you could have water in your chart, okay? But you're wishing. You're wishing for something here, yep. You're looking at this ten of wands. You're looking at things and seeing if you need to reinvest if you should continue to invest in this situation that you're in now. So some of you guys are already in a relationship. And you're talking to someone. And maybe an ex from the past came back. And um, it blew. <laughs> you've always wished for them. And they came back into the picture. So now you're, you're wishing upon a star. <laughs> now um, you're reassessing this investment and seeing if you should keep reinvesting because you found out that things have become so burdensome and so overwhelming that you don't know what to do here all right and but i feel like there's going to be a new begin there's going to be the truth is going to come out there's going to be clarity there's going to be um and there needs for, for action so i feel like you're gonna come out to Come out of this meditation after you gain your insight. And you're going to take action. What are you going to take action on? Let me get a question. What are you going to take action on? Concerning this third party situation, you're going to take action. Um, Concerning the water sign here, you're going to take action. Could even be a Scorpio. Okay, it's going to be an unexpected event that's going to happen. Okay? You could be dealing with a Scorpio... You could be dealing with a water sign, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. You could be dealing with fire, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Virgo. Okay? But I do see fire and water. A lot of water. All right? Um, Libras, that's what I have for you guys for this weekend. Um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Comment below. I do look at those. So I feel like you guys... I'm going into Ermi mode this weekend to think, to get insight, if you should end something. Um, if it's even worth reinvesting in or re, um, continue to invest in. So I feel like you guys are going through that right now because I feel like you're coming to an ending of a cycle, an ending of a phase to come into a new one. Okay? That's what I have for you guys, Libra. So let's move into who? Aquarius. What do we have for Aquarius here? Okay? Aquarius, I'm trying to hurry up. I hope you guys are doing well, Aquarius. Everyone here, air signs. I hope all is well. Okay, I definitely need to hurry up. All right, so Aquarius, your weekend love. What is your weekend love going to be like for June 15 to the 17th? For Aquarius, love, weekend love. What messages do you have for Chris and their partner for this weekend love? We can love us. That's what we are. MB was um Aquarius partner desire. What is Aquarius partner's desire? Okay. Aquarius. Okay, so your partner's desire is a queen of pentacles here, okay? Aquarius. So you might be dealing with a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. What is Aquarius partner's obstacle? What is their obstacle stopping them from making this connection during the weekend? Seven of Earth. So some of you could have Libra in your chart could be dealing with a Libra. Seven of Earth. Because Libra's got almost the same. Okay. So, what is um, a current partner's outcome in this situation? What is a current partner's outcome? Queen of Fire. Okay. So, you're dealing with not only Earth, but Fire sign. So, what is a current desire for this weekend? Spirit, what is a current desire? Thank you, Spirit. You guys' desire is to use your intuition. To tap into your metaphysical third eye. What is Aquarius obstacle in this situation? You guys obstacle is the six of air. What is Aquarius outcome in this love? This weekend love for June 15th. 
You all come as the Empress. Yes, there she is. Some of you guys can be dealing with a water sign because I think I did, I did see that for water sign. Mm -hmm. And then you guys have the Eight of Wands. Fast communication, guys. Fast communication. Um, I feel like someone here could be juggling more than one person or could be juggling. I feel like you guys could be dealing with a Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aries, Aquarius, and that's you guys. Saturn, wherever your Saturn is. Okay, check that out. I forgot what planet, um, what sign is ruled by Saturn. I don't know. I'm still learning my astrology chart and all that. So let's see, your partner here, um, desire is an earth sign. So you might have earth in your chart, um, Aquarius. So your partner could be desiring you, or this is you, desiring your partner. Um, and I feel like the obstacle in um, for your partner is that they're looking at things and seeing if they should reinvest or continue to invest in this union, in this partnership. They think it to themselves, should I reinvest? Because they're reassessing. They're reassessing, okay? Someone here is waiting for you to call them during this weekend. And I feel like the outcome for you guys, Aquarius, is the fire sign because there's a need for action to be taking place here. <laughs> All right, Aquarius, there's a need for action. So the outcome here is your partner wants you to take action your partner wants you to take action on what's going on okay one uno momento one second your partner wants you to take action in this connection okay okay um sajit I said Sagittarius. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with a Sagittarius. Hello. All right. So your partner wants you to take action in this situation. Um, also, I feel like you might be dealing with a fire sign and an earth sign. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, and also Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Um, your partner wants you to take action during this weekend. They want you to take action when it comes to them. Okay, and for you guys, your desire is to use your intuition. Or maybe your design, maybe you're dealing with someone who's very intuitive. Could be a spiritual reader, could be a high priestess, could be a voodoo priest, could be a shaman, a seer, a medium. But whomever this is, they are highly intuitive. So are you, okay? So I feel like um, this weekend you're needing to use your tap into your intuition and use it correctly, okay? Aquarius, we can love for them and their partner. So I feel like you need to tap into your intuition this weekend. The desire is to um, be with this highly spiritual individual here, Aquarius. Uh, but the obstacle is that you're not making any moves. <laughs> you guys are not making any moves towards this person. You guys could be thinking about going to go see them or coming towards them or reaching out to them in some formality here. But you guys are not making the initiative to do so. That's the obstacle. You guys are not taking action towards what you're thinking. Okay? Because I see you want to reconnect with this woman. And the outcome could be... The outcome is... Um, an empress, someone who has children give birth to abundance, someone who has, who is a mother, a self-made boss, a self-made millionaire, you know, fuck the public, you know what I mean? So, this is someone who's well off on their own. This person is very highly spiritual, okay? Also, um, I feel like that's what you want, though. You want the outcome to be this woman, but you're already in a situation. You're already in a situation. Your partner already thinking, like, did they, should they even reinvest or continue to invest in the situation? And I feel like at some point this weekend, you're going to reach out to whomever this is. But you need to take action first. Okay, Aquarius? You need to take action. Please give me a clarification card on the 6th of air. 
for Aquarius. Yup, see that? You want to speak to this person. You want to um, bring clarity to this union. Um, not only that, you want it to be a fast communication. You're going to be talking off the chain. <laughs> it's going to be fast communication. So maybe before you were not taking action, I feel like action will be taken after a while, after you don't decided and made up your mind you know you know air signs is hard for them to make up their mind charlie aquarius oh aquarius and libras it is hard for them to make a decision child so if you guys are dealing with those type of people hmm, good luck so you guys are definitely dealing with a water sign or um maybe this person has all these entities in their chart um so you're going to be communicating for sure with a water sign scorpio pisces cancer here Give me a clarification on the seven of earth. Okay, you guys are going to be communicating. Hmm. The three of swords. There's someone here that you're leaving behind. Um, Aquarius. And this person is going to be really hurt. Yep. Because you guys are arguing a lot. There's a lot of disagreements, arguing back and forth. Um, there's a lot of competition here. Um, there's a lot of interference in this relationship. So I feel like you guys might feel like this person, your partner must felt like you might be dealing with more than one person here. They might feel like they're not the only one. And this could be causing a disagreement between you guys. And that's why they're trying to see if they should reinvest. Okay, your partner think you're with us a fire sign. <laughs> they, they know right. They, they're not wrong. They know. You better believe it. They know you got options. They know you got options. You better believe it. Give me a clarification card on the fire. The queen of fire here. Yeah, your partner know you dealing with somebody else. They're not dumb. All right, crazy. I'm not dumb. So the outcome, the clarification you got here is the seven of pentacles again. The seven of pentacles again. And the full card. So I feel like whoever this fire sign is on the bottom of your outcome, you could be dealing with a Libra too. Um, is that um you could be dealing with, this is you right here. So I feel like you're looking at things and seeing if you need to reinvest, or this could be someone that you're dealing with is looking at things and seeing if they should even reinvest once you reach out to them. Okay, because you're gonna reach out to them and they're gonna be looking like, should I even reinvest in this mess? Like I don't even know. Mm-hmm. Concerning the secret. Somebody's guard is up. Somebody is not allowing. Someone might be feeling attacked too from different areas. Okay, I also see that. Um you could be rejecting a water signs offer, they could be rejecting yours. Okay, they're not saying yes or no. The, the offer is still on the table. They're not saying yes or no. But there could be some type of rejection this weekend, okay? So, um, so someone here thinks someone has a lot of options. Um, your partner thinks so. Maybe you're not, you're not gonna be spending time with them this weekend, or you might think this about your partner, like they got somebody else that they're dealing with. And someone here is looking at things to see if they need to re reinvest or continue to invest in this situation. I think, um, you both kind of. You and this person could be looking at things the same. Okay? Alright. So I feel like there's going to be a new beginning though. This person is going to take a leap of faith with you. They're going to take a leap of faith here. And start something brand new. Um, yep. Or you could be connecting with someone to have intercourse with them. Okay, that's another thing I'm saying. Okay, have a blessed day guys. Have a blessed day. Au revoir. Bye-bye.